5 Ways to Find Something New to Write About If you have a great idea for a book, you should write it. It's as simple as that. Brian Tracy One of the biggest challenges you will face as a writer is to come up with fresh ideas to write about. When sitting down to write, you might find yourself staring at a blank screen, hoping for inspiration to strike. And the longer you stare at that blank screen, the more daunting it gets. This can be frustrating and can paralyze you from coming up with interesting ideas that will capture your reader's attention. But by using the following 5 ways to find something new to write about, you'll be able to tap into an endless supply of engaging topics to help you write top-notch content. Meditate. If you're struggling to come up with new, creative writing topics, taking some time to meditate might be exactly what you need. While meditation might not be your first thought when it comes to idea generation, it is an effective way to clear your mind and remove the stress of daily life that may be blocking the free flow of ideas. With a light, empty mind, you may find your writing ideas rising to the surface of your consciousness instead of being stuck in your subconscious. Use the 10-minute rule. If you're looking for a more active approach to idea generation, you can use the 10-minute rule to brainstorm. Especially if longer duration brainstorming sessions seem too tedious for you. The 10-minute rule is a form of solo brainstorming where you set a timer for 10 minutes and let the free flow of ideas go for the entire duration. The timer gives your mind an anchor and this allows you to fully commit to spending that amount of time fully immersed in idea generation, putting every and any idea down. You can stop when the timer goes off, but for the entirety of that 10 minutes, you should commit to thinking hard about ideas and write down as many of them as possible. Putting down anything that comes to mind, even if it does not seem good enough or seems too silly. Brainstorm with a friend. If you prefer bouncing ideas off someone else, brainstorming with a friend or family member can be helpful in generating more ideas for your writing. You might find inspiration from discussing childhood memories or life experiences. If you do not have anyone to share ideas or conversations like this with, consider joining a writer's group or finding an accountability partner. Having someone else to go back and forth with will often open up new avenues for thinking and put a different spin on your current thoughts, all of which can help create new writing material. In addition to bouncing ideas, another writer can give you valuable feedback on your ideas while you offer your thoughts on theirs. By working together like this, both of you will make each other better writers. Write everything down. Along with having conversations, it's important to jot down all your ideas and thoughts on a regular basis. No matter how big or small, write them all down. Even if it doesn't seem viable at the moment, mark it down for later. Read books. Finally, one of the easiest ways to find something new to write about is by reading. By picking up a book and consuming that author's words, your brain will have the raw material needed to unlock your creativity and enhance your own imagination. Reading allows you to learn from the experiences of others and to experience things through their eyes. This can give you deeper insight which can spark idea generation in your own mind by exercising the parts of your brain that are involved in creativity. By adding these five items to your daily practice, you'll always have a method of generating interesting and engaging content for your writing. So, if you find yourself staring at a blank screen, struggling to come up with something new to write about, take a moment to go through the five methods listed, and your blank screen will soon start filling up. Writer's block will be a thing of the past. Now the question today is this, which of these methods will you use to find something to write about? Leave a comment below, and Brian will be sure to follow up with you. Thanks for watching, and remember, as Brian always says, if you want to change your future, Take action and take action now. If you enjoyed this video and feel it was valuable, share it with your friends or for more resources on professional development, visit my website at bryantracy.com. Thanks for watching and remember, if you want to change your future, take action and take action now.